Yo, everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Jay Fatty. This one's gonna be really quick for you. I'm just gonna show you the audio settings I use when I'm rendering MP3 and Wave and how I render my stems. So just a simple knowledge video, but some people don't know this, believe it or not. So we're gonna go up in here and we're gonna export and we're gonna do MP3 first. All right, so full song for the mode, obviously you don't want it just doing one little part of the pattern. You want to, for the tail, you want to have it at cut remind or cut remainder. This is because you don't want a bunch of like silence at the end of your, your song. Like if you do leave remainder or rap remainder is a little bit different, but if you do leave remainder, you, you could potentially have like a bunch of silence at the end of your song and you're going to have to trim it up. So just make sure you just put cut remainder. Don't worry about this wave stuff yet. Make sure it's on stereo, not mono. And for the MP3 bitrate, you want it as high as possible. So 320. Same thing with the OGG bitrate. And then the flak bit depth and flat compression. Uh, you don't really have to worry about it, but you can change change them to what settings I got if you want. So 16 bit INT for flak bit depth and level five for flat compression. Now we're going down to quality. We want the resampling at 512 point sync and high quality for all plugins. You don't want the, the plugins and effects that you put in there to sound poopy, okay? So then we're gonna go to miscellaneous and a lot of this you can leave unchecked or check it. It just is just certain information that's gonna put it in, into the audio files. Um, so like save playlist markers, save loop markers, note markers, tempo information. Split mixer tracks is for wave and that's how you do stems. So we'll get to that in a second. Trim P, uh, geez, I cannot talk. Trim PDC silence, you can put that on and you want enable insert effects and enable master effects for sure. You can upload to SoundCloud right through here too, which is pretty cool. All right, but that, that's it for MP3, you know, once you got all those settings, you should be good to go. Let's see what Wave is all about. Okay. All right, so full song and cut remainder, that's the same. This one, you want that on 32-bit flow and stereo. Make sure it's on that. Same thing for everything else, pretty much. That, that's it, you know? It's pretty simple. And to get stems for wave, you would just render as wave, but you just hit that instead. And that will that will export every single element of your track that's linked to the mixer. So you'd have to make sure all of the elements that you want on a separate track are linked to its own mixer track. And then when you do that, split the mixer tracks, Boom, it'll do it for you. But make sure when you go back in, you uncheck that so you don't get split mixer tracks next time when you just want an actual full weight. Well, I hope this helps some of you guys, you know? Leave a like if it did. Go ahead and subscribe for more content. I'm gonna try to be pushing out two to three videos a day. I'm, I'm just gonna go hard, see what happens, and go all in, as they say, you know? Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace out.